Hey gang, it's Jack Ballou. I want to do a quick video on what I call the pelvic matrix. This is something that if your horse is rehabilitating, particularly from a stifle injury or injection or something along these lines, it's something that either I or your vet is going to prescribe to you. I'm going to give you a quick demo of it. It's really quite simple. It's the exercises that you begin to do with your horse before they're really capable of doing um, gymnastic moving exercises. These are really stationary kind of exercises done with the horse um, in a stationary position. So if it's safe to stand behind your horse, you stand directly behind the horse and you start by, you're asking the horse to engage to his low back and you'll see some flexion in here in the stifle. It's not a huge motion. Again, you're trying to just begin to wake these areas up so that when you begin your more gymnastic exercises, they are at, in play. So you start by just uh, putting your hand on this natural protrusion of the horse's bum here and gently pushing in. So you can see how there was some motion in this area here. Hopefully that's coming across in the video. I'm not pushing so hard that I'm pushing, you know, Corzone off his feet. I'm actually just sort of pushing straight towards his head. And you want to hold this, if your horse is comfortable with this, for about 20 seconds. Um, that's a good amount of time. You can hold it for as long as 30. After 30 seconds, you're not getting much benefit out of it. But you can certainly hold it for up to 30 seconds. And then when I let off, I'm going to be gradual. I don't want to slingshot off here and have him fall backwards. So I'm going to let off that. So you're going to do one of those pushing inward on each side and then also right here on the dock of the tail. So I'll demonstrate that. So you're going to put your, again, just the, the fleshy part of your palm right here where his tail meets his body and you're just going to push straight in. And again, it's not a huge motion. I'll do it a couple times so you can see from the video because it's not a dramatic like humping up that the horse's body does. It's more like if you do an isometric kind of muscle contraction yourself from the ground, it's similar to that. So you're going to watch a little rise here, and again, you can direct your eye in here to the tensor fascia area to see that there's a little activation. So there's a little movement in his pelvis just then. And again, hold this for uh, about 20 seconds. This is kind of funny when people drive in the driveway and you're standing like this behind your horse, but you can tell them you're doing an exercise, otherwise they'll look at you strangely. Okay, and then you'll let off that, and then you'll do the same uh, motion here that I did on this side. In the interest of time, I'm not going to demonstrate that again. But your pelvic matrix starts with one, two, three, those three maneuvers. And then you can take the tail gently. If your horse is a tail clamper, you're just going to hang out here and wait for him to relax his tail. Um, Jim Masterson, those of you that follow Masterson method, has a lot of great techniques using the tail and asking the horse to just soften and relax all those core muscles up high um, that lead to the horse clamping its tail. So once you get the tail nice and relaxed, you're just going to gently draw it off to the side. As I do that, as I do this, I'm not all the way back here on the end of the tail yanking like this, right? We don't want to do that. I'm gently drawing it off to the side. And what you want to watch for is this engagement of the tensor fascia on the opposite side. So. I pull here and he has to counterbalance my weight by activating that muscle which comes down from the horse's pelvis to his stifle and it's really important for good correct stifle engagement so I'll just demonstrate that again and I generally hold this for about 10 seconds it's mostly just an activation to get that area activated and obviously again you would do this on both sides he's really leaning into this today so I think it must feel good to him he's really counter balancing it and then again you would do that on both sides so and then you could run through that whole sequence again a lot of times I'll do it before I ride and after I ride so just to review you have your inward pushing here on this natural bump here of his bum straight in so you have one two three locations you have a gentle drawing of the tail on each side and then you could step back let the horse, you know, relax, see how he feels about that, and then you could repeat the whole sequence. And that's your pelvic matrix, and you begin, you would do, you do this routine every day before the horse starts moving um, in a more active phase. So this is an important rehab uh, maneuver. So thanks for tuning in.